What's up, Snow Tracks Nation? Luke here, bringing you guys a little bit more info from Arctix uh, 2025. I'm gonna call this a new technology intro. And what we have here is the second piece of technology that you guys were absolutely begging for, and that is the new gauge. We told you it was coming, you knew it was coming, even we didn't know it was gonna be this good. This is called the G8 powered by Garmin, and it is a beautiful display integrated into the dash in a way that looks very, very slick. Obviously, it is a Garmin-based unit. It is a Garmin-designed unit that's been co-designed by uh, the crew at Arctic Cat. It is completely integrated into the sled. So this isn't just a GPS unit. This tells you all the information about the sled, your gauges. It even has integrated things such as like hot grip levels are displayed on screen, which is anyone who knows me and what I like on my screen is just absolutely genius. Now, obviously, the first thing that and most important thing about a gauge is the gauge itself. And so right here, we've got your basic gauge screen. It does have multiple different sort of layouts uh, and it's simply you just touch the screen and it swaps between the two, which for anybody who likes to know the RPM that they're running at the current moment, uh, that's very, very handy. Down here, you've got a whole list of um, user customizable they don't call them widgets, and I'm not gonna call them widgets, but they are bits of information. Uh, and those, again, can be user customizable. You've got a long, long list of different options for the gauges down there. Um, then we wanna move over here, and we're gonna go to our, our sort of main menu screen, and this is where you get the basic uh, functions of the gauge. I say basic because these are the things you're gonna use day to day, but they're not definitely not all of the things you can do. So up here, we have our GPS mapping um, and this is going to come preloaded with maps from all over north america it is a standalone unit meaning you do not have to have your phone connected to this to use the gps mapping it works like any other garmin and connects to satellites all on its own um, when we go back to the main menu you've got a media player so if you've got it's obviously not all working right now because it's not all plugged in but uh, if you have a headset in your in your helmet you can bluetooth connect to this unit and play your audio from your phone uh, through into your headset uh, this is your gauge screen again and then down here you've got notifications so this is going to come from your phone and it's going to show you texts and whatever else is going to come up from your phone um, over on this side we've got our options um, for different settings and whatnot but here we're going to go into apps and this is going to show you a bunch of other stuff there's three main menus in the app screen we'll start up here with navigation you've got cameras yes that's right there are bluetooth cameras available you can mount anywhere on your sled and you can have a backup camera on your snowmobile which is something i think has been missing from snowmobiles for many many years this gives you that option um, other features in here you can see traffic and vehicle and there's all kinds of other stuff that you can do here your vehicle settings goes back to your gauge so that's nice and easy to do um, back to the apps so this is your basic low level navigation menu then we're going to go to what's called adventure and this brings up a whole bunch of other new stuff so um, group ride is a big one and group ride is basically exactly what you think it is again none of these are working because it's not set up it's not outside it's not connected to a phone but group ride um, works much like, and I, I, I'm going to just say it, works much like Polaris's group ride system in that you can connect to your friends who have this system. You can see them on your screen. Uh, in the U.S., you can actually send messages, uh, both SMS and audio messages, if you have a headset on, right from this unit to another unit. So you don't actually have to have your phone connected to send audio and text messages to another Garmin G8 user, which is pretty impressive. Unfortunately, in Canada, that doesn't work. Um, that's what this radio button here is for. So when you go to the radio, this would actually allow you to send, like talk to people, just like you have an FRS radio, which is pretty cool, as long as everybody has their headset connected. Um, obviously, all kinds of other searchable things in here and because it is run off a garmin um, ecosystem you have funny things like dog dog tracker so you can find out where your dogs are from your snowmobile it's not something you're going to use but it's something that's built into garmin so it does show up here uh, and then we go down here to tools we have all kinds of other stuff um, we've got files so if you have other things uploaded on here you can view those you've got further settings um, just a ton of features your phone is connected here um, you know, your clock settings, your music settings, and then browser. And this is one that really got me. If you have your phone connected and your Wi-Fi sharing turned on, you can actually access an internet browser on the screen of your snowmobile and surf the web. Obviously don't do that while you're riding. It's just a hilarious thing that you can do with this that nobody else has even come close to offering. So um, the G8 powered by Garmin is an absolutely impressive display that does more than anybody else's displays. It's bright, it's very colorful, the colors are vibrant, it's easy to read, 
and it does all kinds of stuff. So for anyone who is waiting with bated breath to get the new gauge from Articat, here it is. And anyone who bought a Catalyst uh, this current season and is waiting to take delivery, you'll be very pleased to know that this is going to be offered as an accessory and it is plug and play for your Catalyst. So if you want this display and you don't currently have it, you can buy it from your dealer and have them install it and get all of this functionality on your current Catalyst 600 from 2024. So uh, no need to wait one more year or buy a whole new sled if you want the display. Now, obviously this being called the G8 powered by Garmin, it is an eight inch display, uh, which is awesome. It's, it's kind of a little bit one-upping some of the competition, um, but it does look bigger than anything else out there. And it integrates into the dashboard perfectly, in my opinion. It looks like it was meant to be there because it was from the very beginning, uh, but it is an eight inch display. For anyone wondering, um, the, set, the setups that we've been playing with here at the intro don't have handlebars or any other switch controls. It's basically just the touch screen, but there is a three position rocker switch on your left hand switch gear that will activate and control certain functions of this gauge with your gloves on while you're riding. So you do not actually have to reach forward and touch the screen um, for some functions, not all functions, but some of the more important ones are accessible from the left hand switch gear. You guys weren't the only ones waiting for a new gauge from Arctic Cat. We were as well here at Snow Tracks. We couldn't wait to see what they would come up with and we knew it was gonna be good. We'd obviously had some behind the scenes little tidbits of information given to us over the last year, but uh, I don't think any of us expected it to be this good with this many features and look this integrated and slick. Um, I love it. I can't wait to get it on the snow. I can't wait to use it. Um, and I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. Um, as always, if you guys like this video, click the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on anything. And we got new uploads coming up on a daily, sometimes weekly basis, depending on how things are going. And of course, if you want to get a notified immediately when we upload a new video, make sure you click that bell and turn that on so you don't miss any videos. And uh, you'll be the first one on your block to have all the latest information from Snowtracks TV.